The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. In a story that's gone viral, one woman tried to remove her acrylic nails by herself. She started out by using nail remover, but accidentally ripped off the acrylic and her real thumbnail. It gets worse. A month later, the tip of her thumb turned purple, started to ooze pus. You're seeing this here was diagnosed with sepsis, so it became systemic. Here's what it looks like. After the diagnosis, she had two procedures, had the top of her thumb amputated. And what's crazy, so she had these acrylic nails on for four weeks before trying to take them off. Mm -hmm. this, this is, that's a terrifying outcome. Yeah, so I think dermatologists hate acrylic nails for a reason. And it's because you have to thin your actual nail in order to apply them. They'll usually rough it up and that makes your nail more brittle. And then bacteria, yeast, and fungus can get stuck under the nail. And obviously when you remove them, it can be very traumatic to your nail plate as well. In this case, she tore it off. So it becomes a doorway for bacteria. It's just a great breeding ground. Uh, and that hand surgeons don't like them either. Yeah. I mean, look, look at the extent of this infection. I mean, it could have killed her. And she lost part of her thumb and multiple That is nasty. And I can just tell you as a woman, we, if you're at home and you don't like how your nails look, you have to go someplace, I don't think you'd think twice about ripping it off, thinking this is simple. I can just take it off and maybe do my own nails. And looking at that, I'm like, oh my God, don't ever do that. Another thing that dermatologists hate is that sometimes they'll use ultraviolet to cure or set their gel nails. And we know that that's a very carcinogenic wavelength of light. So right. when I have patients who, for a special occasion or a trip or a wedding or whatever, want to do these nails, I always say all also make sure you're getting the LED, which is diode light as a cure as opposed to ultraviolet. But I, you know, I would say if you have to do it because you're doing any one of those events, really just keep in mind that it's a nice, moist, warm pocket under that nail between the natural nail and the, and the artificial nail that's on top that's so conducive to bacteria and yeast. And I think that's why this poor lady, once she had a nice doorway when her own nail was ripped off, it just went in there and went to Well, static. Dr. Botcher, you mixed two things together that I know Travis and Dr. Dr. Wooden probably didn't catch. We went from acrylic nails to gel, Correct. which can be very, yeah. they're different procedures. So okay. acrylic, they're actually putting a false fingernail on top of your nail bed, mm -hmm. and the gel is just painting exactly. a yeah. chemical or, or nail polish on the top. But you're saying both can be dangerous? Yeah, I mean, I think if you have to choose one, the soak off gel nails are probably safer mm -hmm. than the acrylics because exactly what you said when you have that artificial extra plate, which becomes a nice little cave <laughs> for bacteria. It's terrible. These guys are just looking at us like, what are they No, we, we went to, had, we had pedicures We had on the a Manny Petty day, and when we went, we each got one acrylic or acrylic or applique. I can't, I don't with know a which little, one it was. With a little bling on it. Oh, it stayed on for months one. and months and months, and if it I tried to rip it off, months. I would rip my nail off too. So yeah. if you've got people like Dr. Bodger saying, just stay away from the acrylics, and you can have an outcome like that, why, why would you risk it? Well, I think a lot of women like it for the convenience. It's so much stronger than your nail. If Last you work longer. with your hands, it lasts much longer. But <laughs> if you do do acrylics, go back to the salon and have them and professionally remove it. remove it. If you're having pain, pus, warmth, or redness spreading anywhere on your skin, whether you've had a nail there or not, do consider that a sign of infection. Please go see a doctor yeah, and have it wait. evaluated. Please don't wait.